Hi, in this session I'm going to have a look at if I'm able to get some data from uh, the built-in uh, SharePoint web services that are available in the VDI bin directory, so that's here. And I'm, today I'm going to concentrate about a web method called get list items. But just to show you just in the lists uh, web service there's a lot of methods here we can call. So we're going to call this one get list items. It will just return the list items that we um, are acquiring. So I kind of like have a, a mother of all web services or sorry a, a mother of all uh, calls here in jQuery that I will um, put in my or in which I will put in my uh, my uh, soap which will be htx XML, sorry, that I will pass on to the web service and get some XML back. So on this uh, side, which is uh, empty, almost empty, team side, I have a task list and I wish to acquire that one. So the stuff I need from the um, SOAP definition here is this bit of code here between the body tags. So if I copy back that into here and format that correctly, I'll be able to make a, a call. So just to skip some time, I have already prepared some code here. Just put that in and explain exactly what it is that we have here. <clears throat> so, so I'm trying to to uh, call the get list items which I have here. So just configure that to saying which kind of a list or the name of the list that I'm trying to query, which fields I need to have returned here, and a row limit. I'm just going to skip this part down here and say that we are trying to get this URL of the web service. And then I'm going to set the SOAP action down here so you might wonder where does this come from well this is from the definition of the web method so it's just copying this bit of url here put that in into the to our uh, sub action so this is not going to be give us a huge lot of problems when we just get back items but as soon as we want to update or insert items we will fail if we don't have the SOAP action defined. So let me just see if I got jQuery. Yeah, I do have jQuery on this page. I'm going to run the query and rerun it just to skip the unauthorized return I got there. So, so this is the XML I posted, which will be this bit up here. And this is my response. So I'm able to see that I got two rows back here. That must be these notes down here. I don't have the title of my task items, which are these two. So, so if I built this out here to say title, and let me put another one in here saying I will need to get the priority. I need to get the editor to find out who made this task item. So I'm going to rerun that. See if I got some. Okay, I got the title. I got my priority and I got my author or editor. So that's fine. So I'm able to put in some view fields and get some more back here from the web service. So what could we actually um, make of this is it's quite unhandy to work with. So I, I, I want to put this into some kind of structured data that I, I'm able to use. So first of all, I'm going to define a variable up here. And it's going to be a, a variable that has a count and uh, an array inside it with, with the items in it. 
So down in my response, which will be this bit here, when the call actually succeeds or success and, and, and we get a feedback here, I'm going to loop through that data I got back and I'm going to define exactly what I got back. So must be something like this. So first of all, we're going to query this item here, item count, store that in the count. And I'm going to loop through each of these and pass that to a function that will extract exactly what fields I need. So I just have a pre-built function here. And I'm putting it up here. So I should be able to get a result, a collection of results. And let's see if we are able to get that printed out. So I'm going to rerun the query now. So this is my response. And this is my count. A result the, the count is set to two and here I have each of the items defined. So I would be seeing that I'm missing the editor field here in my array because I got that back too and I want to have that in my array as well. Let's see if we are lucky. So that's it. I was able to to build upon my re returned uh, data and uh, structure it into a, a nice little array here I'm able to use later. And we're going to have a webcast later where we're going to look at how we actually are able to use the returned data in a functional way. So I hope you like this screencast today. Thank you.